What up? Amir Rahim here, owner of Rapping and Snacking. Another episode of Collector's Corner. It's been months since I recorded one of these, like, really long time. I have probably like 8 to 10 videos worth of stuff to post, maybe more, I don't know. But basically, I've been in the process of moving for a while, and this is the new setup. Uh, for now, I'm still moving a lot of things around. So anyways, I'm like, I have so much stuff, so I'm just kind of splitting it into videos, and I got some few months ago some recently so it's kind of just a mix so I'm still gonna break it down and do all that we got CDs records tapes I'm gonna go ahead and just start right off here with one of my eBay pickups from a few months back and this is a uh, Denzel Curry and Kenny Beats this is a uh, like a magazine flexi disc uh, single on vinyl little flexi disc vinyl and um, this I got for $40. It was limited edition. I got this one off eBay. This is really cool, really unique from the Unlocked Project by Denzel and Kenny Beats. So uh, if you haven't seen this or heard of like this limited release, go ahead and check it out. I think $40 was a pretty fair price when I picked it up. But anyways, we're going to move right on. That was a pretty cool pickup there. Moving on, what else we got here? We got, um, we'll get to another eBay pickup here. This was a 3-6 Mafia, as you all know, uh, especially from my previous Collector Corner videos when I was dropping them uh, a few months back in particular, I've been on a 3-6 Mafia craze. And this is the Unbreakables album. Uh, I picked this up for 33 bucks off eBay. I still haven't gotten to this point in their discography for those who are interested in where I'm at. I'm actually in the year 2001 with all their releases, and it's just getting, like... They're so great, um, and I can't wait to check this one out. Maybe I'll review all their albums. A lot of people are asking me my opinion on them. But anyways, pick this up for 33 bucks. Unbreakables, 3-6 Mafia. We're going to go ahead, and actually we'll keep it, um, we'll go back to Denzel Curry real quick. These are some things that I picked up from Denzel Curry's website. Um, this is that Unlocked album. So before I showed you one of the singles, this is the album Unlocked. So the reason you may ask why are there two, um, these I got from his website, and it is the same album, however, one, I don't know if you can tell, but one is um, a gatefold right here, and the other is not, but also on top of that, one is a picture disc while the other is not, so let me see, um, I think this is the picture disc right here, so I can kind of show you all what's up. So it's got really cool artwork on the inner sleeve, and then what do we have here, we got picture disc right here so yeah y'all see it so we got the cool picture disc boom 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 and this is uh his unlocked album uh denzel curry's unlocked album with kenny beats so i'm a big fan of open shrink you know what i mean like i don't like taking the shrink wrap off some people hate shrink wrap i don't mind it so i'm a big fan of one you know keeping the, the hype sticker on it but also on top of that i like the um shrink wrap so even in a gatefold, if I already know what the artwork looks like inside, I'm not going to take it off. I'll just leave it in there. So that's how this is a gatefold, but I'm still able to, you know, slip it in and slip it out. Pause. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Back in there. Struggling. There we go. Okay, anyways, pick those up from his website. I don't remember how much. If, if it's stock price, I'm not going to go ahead and say what price it was. Unless it was something crazy. Because that was just normal. You can buy it off his website. Anyways... We're going to go ahead, we'll get, get another, I think this was eBay, this is either e eBay or Discogs, I don't really remember. But anyways, this is 3-6 Mafia, Chapter 2, World Domination, and in a couple other videos, I had also had this pickup. This one, however, is different because this is the actual original press. Whereas the other videos, or one of my other videos, I had another one, which was like a promo release, but it was the like a promo repress. It had a couple extra tracks on it. This is the actual full-length original track list without the the um, remixes that were added to the end of it and other tracks. So this, yeah, last track here is Weed Has Got Me High. And you can also see the back, so you can see the difference in case you have the other version. I should have actually had um, the other version in this video so you can compare the backs. But anyways, here we go, 3-6 Mafia, Chapter 2, World Domination. Psh, this album really, like, changed it for me. Once I heard this, I was like, I need to get everything they got, because this was just phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal album. For real. Alright, we're going to move on to... 
this. So this was a Discogs uh, bundle I got. This one dude was selling a few things that I wanted. All these I got for 166 bucks shipped. Pretty steep considering it's only four records, but I'll get into them and show you why it was that much. So first off, we got uh, I and I, Fake and Jack, single, open shrink again. Great song, a lot of people know this. Uh, shout out Pete Rock, boom. So this is one part of it. Next we got, this is actually still sealed. This is Ghetto Boys, The Resurrection. This is a US promo press of the album. And interesting thing about this album, in the US, this never released uh, the full length. So here you'd be like, oh, this is the full length. Well, it's actually not because on side one of, uh, so it's only one record. Side one of the record, it's four tracks. Side two of the record, it's four tracks. If you know Ghetto Boys Resurrection album, it's much more than just eight tracks long. And I think in Europe or UK or, or somewhere, they released the actual full length. I don't know if it's official, um, but they did. So this is the US promo and uh, yeah, the reunion album. Next up, Slick Rick, the artist storytelling on uh, vinyl. Dope album. This is probably my second favorite Slick Rick album, uh, which my first being his debut album. This is a great one. Pick this one up. And then lastly, you're wondering why was it so much money, the 166? Because these three records of four, uh, they're not huge in price. They wouldn't rack up that much money. But then you got this, Project Pat, Mr. Don't Play, Everything's Working. Like I said, I'm on that 3-6 Mafia train. And this album, this is very clean condition. Uh, this album actually goes for a lot of money. It goes for upwards of $100. Um, this was a very good price for the condition. Super clean. Uh, just a... <laughs> So I listen to this album because I'm in 2001 right now, and this is this is a contender for the best album in the 3-6 catalog up to this point. Um, it's just a genius piece of work, no throwaways, just excellent, excellent, excellent album. DJ Paul and Juicy J produced the hell out of it. Uh, the features that are on here come correct. Just Project Pat is one of the greats that really, if you... If you think about it, like if someone were to say he's one of the best rappers of all time, you can't really dispute it if you listen to his body of work. And I'm not even all the way there yet, and I'm already not mad at someone who puts him in their top ten or whatever. He's really great. Um, <laughs> check this out if you haven't already. And Getty Green, which is his debut album, uh, is... I might take this over that. I probably would, but Getty Green is another like solid piece of material, classic album, whatever way you want to spin it, big time banger. And then we'll go ahead and talk about these. So these ones I had all picked up, uh, also part of a bundle. So these three records, plus, uh, let me throw them just here right now so I don't get confused. So these three records I got for, plus a couple other things, I got them for 60 bucks. So we got Jedi Mind Tricks, Servants of Heaven, Kings and Hell. Jedi Mind Tricks is one of my favorite groups. Uh, this is just Vinny, Paz, and Stoop. This is Without Just a Law. This is a really fantastic album. Uh, if people who haven't heard Jedi Mind Tricks, I highly suggest checking them out. Uh, great independent hip-hop group from Philadelphia. And uh, this is one of the better albums in their catalog. I don't think they have any bad albums in their catalog. Uh, but this is definitely one that a lot of people talk about, primarily because of that song, Uncommon Valor, uh, Vietnam Story, with Ari the Rugged Man's breathtaking masterpiece of a verse, uh, feature uh, guest verse. But anyways, great album, and I'm happy I could add this original pressing to my collection. Next up, I since I added a few things um, so I can bargain with the dude, I also added Notorious B.I.G. Nasty Girl. This is after he died. Um, this was on, I think, the Biggie Duets album. But... Shout out to Biggie, you know, I'll support him uh, when in life or after death, no pun intended. But pick that one up too. Um, so this was the most pricey of, of, of the pickups in that bundle. This was probably like a couple bucks. And then I also actually got the Project Pat Miss It Don't Play Everything's Working sampler. And this is from the UK, so I don't know if it's legit or not. But anyways, I picked it up. This was like a buck fifty euros. So I was happy to pick that up. And also in there I picked up three CDs, one of which was Jizz's Cold World uh, from his classic, um, not debut, a lot of people think it's his debut, but his uh, second album from Liquid Swords, um, the track Cold World. And this also has um, a remix on it, yeah. The Rizza mix and the Power mix. 
and it's also got Bible on here. So this is dope. We got the game Dreams. This is also a couple bucks on it. Uh, Dreams, great song. And then we also got here the Tribe Called Quest Love Movement. This is a special limited edition of Love Movement, though. This is from uh, Europe or European Union. Yeah, it says manufactured in the European Union, and this has extra songs to it as well. So, or an extra disc, I should say, because you got boom and boom. So, you know, whatever. Anyways, got that. It's got the hype sticker on it, too. Six bonus tracks, blah, blah, blah. So, pick that up, boom. So, next up, let's just go to the CDs. Um... Yeah, so this, I actually, I was proud of this one. This is one of, uh, as you most of you should know by now, if you're new, welcome. But I try and remind people as often as I can that Ice Cube's Death Certificate uh, 1991 release is the greatest album in hip-hop history. And this is a CD single that I've been looking for for years, and I finally got it. This was $150 alone. Um, it's got no artwork as it was released. It's just the Steady Mobbin single, and this is just Steady Mobbin clean, and no Vaseline as well. So, no Vaseline's not clean, that's explicit, but Steady Mobbin is clean, and this is, uh, man, when it comes, you may be like, 150 is a lot. This single, you don't find it very often, and 150 is actually a pretty fair price, and me, honestly, if, if you are watching this and you have death certificate stuff, feel free to, to try and sell it to me. I may not have it, and I'll buy it off your hands for real. So, boom. Classic. I was very happy to add that to my collection. Let's keep it moving. We'll go to a Tribe Called Quest. Oh my god. I got this for a couple bucks. This is a dope single. And this also has um, a Lyrics... I believe it's a Lyrics To Go remix on here. I don't remember. But it says Lyrics Remix, so I can only assume that's Lyrics To Go from the Midnight Marauders album. And it's also got One Two Shit featuring Busta Rhymes on here, which is a dope track, which they actually also added to this... Uh, Love Movement bonus disc. So, this was dropped in 93, this CD single, or 94. So, boom. Oh my god, classic Tribe track. You know it. Let's keep it going, let's keep it going, let's keep it going. We got, this was an Amazon pickup. I just got it from Amazon. This is also that same album, Denzel Curry Unlocked, uh, produced by Kenny Beats. Let's pick that up on Amazon. It was just a standard price, so probably like 11, 12 bucks. Okay, let's keep it rolling. We'll go, I think these were all from the same seller, so let me put them all in one. So like I said, 3-6 Mafia train, these are all 3-6 um, Mafia or related acts. So here we go, first off, we got Lil White, Doubt Me Now. Uh, these actually, all five of these I got for close to 50 bucks shipped. Um, same seller. So first off, I got Lil White, Doubt Me Now. I haven't heard this one yet. I'll probably get to this in a, after a few more 3-6 Mafia CDs or associated CDs. This, I don't remember when this dropped. I feel like it was 03, but it doesn't say on the back of this disc. Yeah, it's probably like early 2000s, but I'll decided to peep that one out. Also, someone in the same vein, we got Fraser Boy, Gone Off That Bay. Gone on that bay, and this one, it also doesn't say, but I think this is like 03, 04, something like that. So, this is another one that I haven't heard anything off of it. But 3 6 Mafia, uh, DJ Paul Juicy J produced, so I'm gonna have to go and check that out. Next up, we got these two Project Pat CDs that I also haven't heard yet, but I picked them up. And this is Project Pat's Walking Bankroll, and then Project Pat's Real Recognize Real, also from the same seller. So, excited to peep these ones out. This one. It was 09, and this one over here doesn't say. I feel like this is like 07. Yep, 07. So, boom, boom. And then lastly from that seller, we got the 3-6 Mafia, or Triple Six Mafia presents Profit Entertainment Greatest Hits. So, this one was released in 07, um, and this is one that I'm excited to listen to, too, because I think there are a couple songs here that were probably unofficially released so they didn't make it to albums but then they made it to this compilation and probably other little side projects so i'm excited for this this is also a two disker um one of them is dragged and chopped and the other is just a standard so you got it these two i picked up off amazon these are represses also three six mafia related we got the coops and nika and then we got uh the three six mafia mystic styles so this three six mafia mystic styles is the repress 
Um, it's got, a, if I recall, it's got a slightly different track list than the one that was dropped in 95. And this is slightly different. It's also got a different cover. So pick that one up. I don't remember. It was off Amazon. It was like 15 bucks or something. And this Koopsta was also in the same vein of repressed, not an original pressing, also like 15 bucks. This one I had heard because this was like 99, I think the CD came out or it was officially released. And I'm just not a huge fan of it. Uh, I know a lot of people really like this album uh, and rest in peace, by the way, but it, it's clear that the sound is super dated. The production is nowhere near DJ Paul and Juicy J standards by this time in 99. And I am, I know that a lot of these songs were uh, released and recorded before 99, uh, clearly. But uh, to make it into a compilation album was cool to hear, uh, especially if you're curious of the earlier DJ Paul Juicy J production as well as Koops' raps and the other features. Um, but for me, I'm like, uh, by 99.36 was making so much better music, but this is great for the diehards and people who wanted to hear more of Koopsa, that's for sure. So then moving on, moving on, these two, wait, no, no, these two I got for 40 bucks, and these were, I guess, like 20 a pop, I don't remember, but the shipped, it was 40 bucks. We got two short, what's my favorite word on tape, this is sealed, um, which since this dropped, was it 2000, yeah, 2002, when tapes pass the 2000s, they start getting more expensive. And not necessarily because the albums are better or anything like that, but because uh, tapes weren't really being made after the year 2000. I mean, they were, but they were starting to die down, die down, because people were buying more CDs and what have you. And also cars, not all of them were made with tape players, etc. So... This one, O2, this, that's why this was about around 20 bucks or so, or 15, uh, whatever it was. But then I got this one, Tear the Club Up Thugs, Crazy in the Last Days sampler on here. So I was excited to, um, to peep this because, or to get this because this Crazy in the Last Days, the actual album, is a freaking masterpiece. It's so well produced. It's just excellent. It's great. The features kill it. So I was happy to get this sampler from uh, Tear the Club Up Thugs. And on here too, there's a track, uh, track eight, it's called Go to War With Us. And Go to War With Us is not on the Tear the Club Up Thugs album. So I'm intrigued um, to see if this pops up anywhere because on the snippet sampler, you only get a minute and 29 seconds of it. So I wonder if it's on like one of those compilations or greatest hits, who knows, maybe it's even on this, you know, I don't know. Um, no, I don't see it here, but I'm sure it's on something else or uh, or maybe it's a title for something else You know, maybe they changed the title from go to war with us to another song I don't remember. I'll have to pop this in and listen to it But anyways, boom got those and then lastly we got two ice cube tapes One is you know how we do it this one. I picked up off eBay uh, it's sealed actually blanking on the price so this is a slightly different cover or it's the same cover but the the colors are different so the colors use it's it's just black and white whereas the other you know how we do it, it has the color on it and on the back it says you know how we do it um classic man i mean you know this is from lethal injection uh i don't remember how much i paid but not too much i feel like it was 10 it was definitely less than 20 but i know some people are trying to sell this for a lot of money um and I was not about to pay that, but this one I got for, yeah, less than 20, that's for sure. And then also I got the Bop Gun Maxi tape. There we go. Um, another dope song, in my opinion, from the Lethal Injection album. And I actually prefer the single version as opposed to the album that, or the version that made the album, because the version that made the album was like 11 minutes and some change, and this is like four minutes and some change. So definitely prefer this. Um, but anyways, it's been a, it's been a long time since I made these videos and I'm definitely excited to keep them going because this move has been a big pain in the butt as you can imagine there's all this stuff I have to move and whatever, but I got like eight to 10 videos more of just stuff that I have and I've purposely put to the side to make these videos. So more stuff is going to keep coming and coming, pause, and then I'm going to go ahead and, and record it and post it up. But let me know your favorite uh, pickups. Let me know what you think of some of these releases. And if you want some reviews of some of this stuff, I'll go ahead and album review it. I got uh, a lot of stuff I want to be doing. So just drop a suggestion and let me know. Appreciate it.
Uh, Mirahimi wrapping and snack and collectors corner. Peace.